Hi guys, Creative Lori here. Welcome everyone. Um, so today I have a haul from three different places. <laughs> so I hope you can see everything. Um, I know you can't see me, but I'm more concerned about the stuff, the goods. So actually four different places. Wait a minute, no, three, four. <laughs> so the Dollar Tree, Target, 99 cent store, and the Dollar General, which I hardly ever shop there. So let's just get started. Welcome everyone. If you're new to my channel, I'm a home stager, but I like to share with you all my um, decor and DIYs that I do. Um, I get some of my decor from thrift stores for my business. Um, I do some staging tutorials, which I'll be doing more of. Now that Easter is over, I'll be concentrating more on that. So welcome everyone, and let's get started. So my dad gave me as a gift for uh, Easter, this really great shovel. It's like a handheld flat end, flathead shovel, which is good for um, like skimming, you know, like your grass area if you're trying to pick up your sod and get rid of it or for in my case dog doo-doo <laughs> so this is a really nice one too or if you just want to like um get something off the cement the flat uh head really works nicely this is really nicely made too um the wood stem the nice handle um it's heavy too and he got it for a dollar ninety nine Okay, so that's the only thing I think I have from the 99 cent store. Then I got this from the Dollar Tree because I go through these pretty quickly. Um, and it even has the measurements like one inch, two inch, three inch, and there's like little lines on here. So I buy these every few years because I, I happen to go through them. I got these little butterfly um, wall stickers. You can put them on the wall or glass or whatever. They reminded me of my childhood and I really want to put them on my glass sliding door over there because we get I get birds, hummingbirds, regular birds, all kinds of birds hitting that door. Even though I have a cover, that, I, I don't know why they hit it. I mean, you know, it's not like you can see right through. So um it's interesting but then there's also a picture window to the left of that they hit that mainly because it does look like it goes all the way through so i got these little pretty butterflies and i think there's um they're removable but uh there's like two four six eight 10, 12, 14, 16, 17 stickers. That's quite a bit. So I have enough to put on the two different windows. So happy about that. And then also at the Dollar Tree, I got two more Pussy Willows. Um, I already have two and I got two more. So I liked how I styled them. Um, I kind of bent them. You can't leave them straight, you know they don't look as good you need to bend them like a branch right so you bend them in all different little air you know ways and they look more realistic and then when you put them together they look really good so i got two more of these um and i'm so glad i got them and when they have the brown stem they look better from afar they really do so the dogwood that they have the pussy willows and there's something else anyways if you find them get them because they do look really nice the other thing that i got were these blue plates now i think i got, i think i told you guys that i do collect the blue and white pottery and ceramics um and i also like fiesta wear and i like the the navy fiesta wear these are not fiesta wear but they are rachel ray and i i don't know if you can see that uh, anyways um they are real rachel ray they had them in orange red and the blue and they had the bowls and the mugs but for some reason in the blue they did not so i got a, um, a two sets of fiesta wear for my wedding my mom got them for me and even the utensils 
and I don't know why I did this, but I gave the utensils away because at the time I didn't like them. But anyway, so these are just to add to my two other um, Fiesta Ware plates. If I find the bowls, I'll, I'll get them. They're different shapes, but I really like the um, navy blue in the summertime, you know, for... I don't know. It just sets the food. It makes the food look so appetizing on a dark navy plate when you have like corn or you have, um, you know, a fruit salad on here. It just looks so beautiful and summery. Watermelon. So these are the Rachel Ray ones. I, I don't really, I love orange, but for my dishware, I really like just the navy blue and then obviously white. So the other thing that I got from the Dollar Tree was this little canvas sign and it looks like it's wood and it says imagine with an arrow going through it. And I put this in my laundry room and I'll show you guys because I did change out the brackets in my laundry room. So I will be showing you guys that. And for a dollar guys, I mean this is really cute. And the lady there, she's like, oh, you're back. She's like, thank you so much for organizing our, um, our, you know, picture area. I don't, don't think I didn't notice that I noticed it. And so then I thought, wow, if a customer can do it, I need to get on it. And so I was like, okay, thank you. <laughs> Cause I did, I organized that whole picture area as I was going through it. Okay. So that's all from the Dollar Tree. Oh, one more thing. Okay, so I got two of these spotlights. I don't know if you can see that they're on because it's like darker in here. <laughs> so I got two of these spotlights and I was really um, skeptical on them. They're the solar steak lights and um, they work. They work really good. I have bought these in the past at Walmart. They sell them for two for 10, but they're the larger ones. They're twice the size of this. But I put these, so I put the larger ones around my fountain, and then I thought these would look really good around, um, like, or in my potted big terracotta planters and glazed pottery that I have. So, yeah, I love these. I only bought two, and I meant to buy more the other night, but I got um, distracted because the lady was, like, talking to me. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so these are really good, guys. I like that they're the spotlight. They work really well. They come, sorry, they have dirt on the end, but they come with the steak and then you just, um, they come like this and then, you know, you just take it out. That's how they come in the store. And then you just uh, stake it into the ground or in your pot. Guys, I love these. These work super good and I'll be buying more of them. All right. The next thing is from the Dollar General. I hardly ever shop there. I only shop there when I go to visit my dad in, in the, um, Nevada. And so I had seen someone else, her name is Decor Mommy, who hauled this sign. I think she got that sign and that one. But um, I got a few more things. I was looking for some other things. They didn't have them at that particular store. But I got this sweet little mason jar um, sign. Let me move this back. And it was $3.50. And it has a jute rope handle and um, some jute twine but it also had let me show you what it had because it was like way too much i had to take it off it had <laughs> and i'm not about all of the doodads that some things come with yeah it had way too much doodads that's what i call them okay guys so it had two of these like leaf thingies and then all these flowers uh metal flowers and that was like way too much and I it they were stapled in so I did mar the wood a little bit but that was okay so I'll show you how I use that in my home I also got this cutie pie which I don't like what it says plant plant seeds grow love I like that it has a galvanized metal top the hanger it was only one dollar so I'm gonna do a DIY on this and you guys will see that I can't wait to show you guys oh it's so cute 
Then I also got this, Welcome to the Farm. And Target has the tea towels or the, yeah, tea towels, I think. They, were, they weren't regular. Yeah, they were tea towels with that same exact design. And I've seen pillows with it and everything. So this is a wood little welcome sign. This is Welcome to the Farm. And that's what I feel like my house is because I... <laughs> <laughs> I have so many cats and two dogs and a f my dad's ferret comes to visit. So um, this for $3 was super cute. And I'll probably go back to Target to get two tea towels because I think they're really cute. And they were like only three fifty or something at Target. But this sign was $3. And then I got this little vase. Um, it was on sale. I think it was... It was a weird price, $2.10. But you know me, guys. I turned it into a cloche. And it's like my orange juice glasses that I had, stemless um, wine glasses, I guess. And so this is a larger version, and I'll show you that later. And then my dad, when he was in Nevada, because I was like, Dad, you know, do they have this? Do they have that? And <laughs> he was like, oh, I'll have to check. And so the girl that was helping him was like really helpful. So he felt obligated to buy st something. But he got this little charger and it was $3. What I like about this one though, it's really thick, super thick. $3 and you can't bend it. So I'm definitely going to be doing something with this for sure. I think it's lovely and I might make um, a three tier tray out of it for my best friend who showed up on Easter and I was not ready for her, but <laughs> I gave her most of my gifts. So I think I'm going to do a three tier tray because it's like really sturdy and it's made out of hyacinth. And so I keep calling this seagrass, but it's really hyacinth. So I got one of those. I'll probably get a few more because they're very sturdy. Um, I love this little mason jar. I love that mason jar and I love all my little plants and everything and I love this cloche so I put a, a little um chess piece that I happen to have and that was free I got it for free from my stager that I bought the rest of the things from her so I have a ton of these so I thought that looked really cute and then at Target I got this gorgeous little pineapple and it's teal on the outside. So guys, I know you probably don't know um, that I love pineapples and um, first of all, they mean, you know, like hospitality, which like a wreath means as well. It means welcome and hospitality. So I have a fountain in the front also and it's a very nice fountain and it's a pineapple. Um, the topper is and it's in my ex hasn't bought it for me. I really love it It's it's a really well made one. It's actually stone It's not made or maybe cement, but it's not made from resin like the ones that you can find like on eBay or Amazon So it was really pricey <laughs> But um, I got that and I have a door knocker that I've made um, that has a pineapple in it. I used to have a ton of pineapples everywhere. And I'm thinking of Hosted by Chrissy because I know she loves pineapples too. So you got to go to Target, Chrissy. Um, I'm going to put this on the outside because, um, on my back porch, because most of my things are white and teal. And so this is like perfect. This can be like a little cutting board. It can be like a little trivet. Whatever, I can prop it up. For $3 at Target in their dollar spot, I was like, yes, I want more. But I didn't. I didn't get any more. Um, so then the next thing that I got at the Target dollar spot was, were two of these um, slotted olive buckets that have the um, copper handle. Now I saw Auntie Cuckoo, who you, you guys know I love her shop with me is because I feel like she does the best job at it. Not everyone tells you the price of everything where she does. And so that's when I know when to go into the stores to find the goodies. And so I went to my other house and that Target in that area happens to have more and it doesn't get bought out so quickly. <laughs> 
So I got this one, I got two of them. So I got two of these, they were just $3. And I knew from Auntie Cuckoo that um, these were there. And I love copper, as you guys know. The handle, I mean, it feels heavier than the other ones that I have. I mean, these feel substantial. So I got two of those and I'll show you how I, I style that. And I also got, all right guys, so the last thing that I got from Target was this, another pedestal. Um, it's different from my other one, other ones. I have two of this size. Um, it's cream and it has a gold uh, band around it, which I, I like the gold banding, but I'm not so sure I like the cream. I mean, actually now that I see it against my tile, I do like it, so never mind. <laughs> So this will look good in my kitchen area because it does match the color of my tile. So I got that for $5. That's the pricing on it. And I'm going to show you guys how I styled everything. Um, I really think you should go out to your Dollar Tree, get some different little florals, especially the one with the brown stems. And if you do all one color, they look better. They look more expensive. They don't look as cheapy. And then the other thing is um, try other stores. Don't always just depend on the Dollar Tree. Go to Dollar General, Grocery Outlet, Target Dollar Spot, um, all the different stores that might have different things. So let me show you my cloche that I created with the vase from the Dollar General and with the things from Dollar Tree. So here it is. I think it's super cute. I, it's not, I'm not gonna spray paint it. I like it clear. Um, I know that this is no, nothing new, but like my other cloche, which I'll get out and show you, it has that really rounded, bulbous touch to it. So that's why it works. And this is just, you know, one of the candle holders from the Dollar Tree, which I got that, uh, the other night because I did break one. And then the candle holder, which those were really hard to find, by the way, for some reason. So I just um, super glued it with their Fix All adhesive. And yeah, it's super cute. So let me show it, show you guys next to the one I already have. So you guys remember this, this DIY. This is from the Target Dollar Spot. This was just an orange juice glass slash stemware that I had. Um, I think it's probably meant for like a dessert wine because it has a really wide mouth. And then I just super glued the, oh, the top to it, which just now came off. Oh, you know what? I hot glued it. I hadn't, okay. So I still need to <laughs> super glue it. When you super glue it, it really makes a difference. So. I'm going to super glue that because I really enjoyed this for the spring and Easter season. So I will definitely make that permanent with the super glue. Um, I think they're really cute. And those are the two things that I made as a DIY. So let me show you the other, the, where I'm going to be placing these other things so you guys can get an idea. Okay guys, so that's where I put the pedestal. Um, I wanna leave that bunny up because I <laughs> I really think it looks neutral and good next to um, what I already have. So I think that looks fine. I did switch out the olive bucket. I had the green handled one and now I put the copper handled one and I love it. Oh my gosh, $3, are you kidding me? <laughs> And then the next thing you guys saw my little, oh my gosh, this adorable little, he looks like Babe. Another subscriber, um, she also agreed he looks like Babe. And how can you not love him? Look at that face. Oh my goodness. And how can we eat them? Oh, that's a whole other story. <laughs> Anyways, but that was from the Dollar Tree also. So I put him there. And then... This is where I put two of the pictures um, from the Dollar Tree. They're both the same size. They're both the same color and frame. And so I thought that they looked good over here. I'll step back a little bit. Um, I know it's dark, so you can't really see that, but uh, 
So I like those two there. I'll put a third one eventually, but I needed to spray paint the um, frame. And then that's my little arrangement from also the Dollar Tree. Three of the white hydrangeas, two of the green, one of the lilacs, and only one of the delphiniums, but I need at least two more probably. Okay, so then, so my coffee bar here, I always have it kind of tilted off to the one end or, um, you know, at one corner. And so it has the other olive bucket with my pussy willows in it. And see how I've kind of contorted them to make it look more realistic. I put my thrift store find there on a little pedestal from the Target dollar spot. And then my other thrift store find back there. And then my other thrift store finds the salt and pepper shaker. Oop, I'm thrown off here. Yeah, the salt and pepper shaker, there are cow and pig. And then the little pen that the pig is in is from the Dollar Tree. And then the um, Rosemary Topiary. I'm sorry, guys, I'm switching hands. Um, that's from Ikea with a little, he, it was $4.99 and then the little, um, bucket was, uh, four or 49 cents. So I thought that was a, a really good deal. Sorry if I moved too quickly. And then we're going to go outside cause I want to show you, oh, wait a minute, one more spot. Okay, so this is on my kitchen desk area. I really struggle with this area. My little chihuahua has her bedding down here. Um, that's where my router is, and I hide it with greenery, and I put it in a basket, and then I put some Dollar Tree ribbon around the base. Um, and then I put, you know, the greenery, which really helps, I think, and then I put that little sign, Welcome to the Farm. And I'm okay with that for now. Um, it does hide it a little bit, the cords and whatnot. So I kind of like it. And then I have my little, you know, um, lantern still from Easter. But I still like it because it has little nests in there, like a little cove. I don't know if you guys can see it with the glare. I changed it after initially how I styled it. It's got the two moss rabbits, the carrots, the daffodils, and so I think he look, it looks really cute in there with the eggs back there. It's like a little cove and that little nest basket. So that's what I did with that. And then we're going to go outside. Oops. Um, and I'll show you what I did with the other things. Okay, guys. So here is my front door. Um, I still have that topiary from Christmas time, which I love with the eucalyptus, but I have this looking really natural. So it's the grapevine wreath that I got from the thrift store for $2. And then I put some of the, um, I got from Hobby Lobby, a roll of that burlap sack ribbon. I, you know, put it, wrapped it around, and then that bow, I think, was like 80 cents. Everything was like 80% off when I got it, and it was right after Halloween. Um, and then I put my little Dollar General mason jar sign. I thought this was really apropos because you're entering, and it says, home sweet home, like you're finally here. <laughs> and all my tenants seem to, seem to really like living here, so I thought that was really, you know, a nice touch and it's all natural kind of like how it looks underneath it is my no soliciting sign which I I don't you know I just don't answer the door um, sorry guys I'm, I'm looking horrible today I have a cute outfit but I don't look good today I've been at my storage facility and everything else so um, I feel like this is a really cute, homey, neutral look. I like it. It looks good against the, the door color. And that's basically it, guys. There's nothing else I need to show you right now. Um, oh, except for one more thing. One last thing. So I did finish putting those IKEA brackets up. Um, they were... 50 cents each and they are more level as you can see except for on that side a little bit off um, and then I put my Dollar Tree sign that says imagine I like that it looks like wood 
And I think it's kind of cool next to my aim to inspire sign that I also got from the Dollar Tree. All right, guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this haul and um, where I showed you where I put everything. I will show you more later as I go on. Thanks, guys. Enjoy your week and please like and subscribe. Bye.